When I'm in a situation where I feel I can coerce the striped bass into hitting on or near the surface, fishing an unweighted soft jerk bait is my favorite and historically my most productive way to catch them. Usually, the best topwater action coincides with the arrival of a weather system when the barometer starts to fall and the skies cloud up. But on this particular fall day, it was the backside of the system after the rain had stopped as the clouds dispersed, the skies brightened, and the barometric pressure skyrocketed upward that seemed to trigger the topwater action. I like to use a long, heavy action rod, specifically an 8-foot flipping stick, to throw those bigger soft jerk baits like the 9-inch sluggo and my favorite, the 7-inch finesse fish. A 20-pound test leader tied to 20-pound test braid works out just fine for me 99 times out of 100 for this style of fishing. This is one application where I opt for a mono leader rather than fluoro. The reason is simply that nylon-based monofilament line floats while fluorocarbon sinks. It's a lot easier to keep the lure on top when the line doesn't sink. Also on the subject of line and leaders, I never use anything but the lefty cray knot to attach the leader to the braid. There's a link in the description below to my video on how to tie this extremely strong and easy knot. Surface and near-surface strikes can range from a gentle slurp to a violent explosion, and they're always fun. Hooking up with a fish after you actually see it explode on your bait at the surface is a rush, whether you're fishing a traditional hard-bodied surface plug or an unweighted soft plastic bait like the finesse fish or sluggo. There is no denying that there are situations when the noisy surface disturbance of a popper or a walking plug advertising the lure's presence will outproduce the more natural action of a soft bait darting quietly around at or near the surface. But once the fish is hooked, I have a lot more confidence in actually landing that fish when I have it hooked on a big single 5.0 to 8.0 hook than on the treble attached via a split ring to an ounce or two of wood or plastic flailing around whenever the fish shakes its head. And when you do actually get the fish both side and are trying to get a lip lock on it, whether with a boga, a fish gripper, or just your hand, all those extra hook points that aren't stuck in the fish can present a real challenge. 